Hey weirdos, welcome back. This is the video I know a lot of you guys want to see every month. It's the Facebook recreate, which I'm going to get into here in a bit. I wanted to share with you guys, I got a huge uh, menagerie of stuff <laughs> from Mystic Moon Dips. I will leave her info linked in the box. She's got some of the most unique powders I think maybe I've ever seen. So many cute things. I'm going to use one in particular for the Facebook Recreate Manny. I thought it would go perfectly, but before I do that, I've had a lot of you guys ask me about popping off peelies <laughs> when you use peel base. So I'm going to show you how I do that real quick. I do have my extensions on for this. I wanted to get this in at some point. I know you guys have probably seen I chopped my nails off since here, since I did this, <laughs> since here, what? But I wanted to show you how I pop off extension, not extensions, peelies. If you use peel base and you dip over it, this is what I do. I will go around the perimeter of all of my nails with a file just to break the seal of my gel top coat, which is this, Poochie's Nails Gel Top Coat. The color is bubbly, by the way, on my nails. I'll leave the video for my left hand Manny up in the cards in case you missed it. And there is a video on how I use bubbly. It's a really beginner friendly tutorial. So if you're interested in seeing a very detailed step-by-step, -step, I'll leave that in the cards for you as well. So went around all of my nails with a file. I'm just using a regular 150 grit file, nothing crazy, nothing out of the use. And then what I'm gonna do when I'm done filing is I'm gonna oil up my nails. This just, for me, I feel like it makes the nails want to pop off a little bit easier you know it's uh, at the risk of sounding totally not pg family friendly it does lube things up a little bit <laughs> if you know what i mean so as you're gonna see right here right now <laughs> this is my slow-mo shot the nails pop off absolutely perfectly i know i don't have any issues and that is one coat of peel base i know a lot of people ask these questions about like how to put on peel base how many layers you're supposed to do I think it does vary from person to person, but for me, one coat of peel base over my extensions, and on my extensions I have gel base and gel top, that's it. Um, everything pops off just fine. I have no damage, no breakage, no nothing, clean removals. And with that, I can get peel base back on my nails and get ready for the next Manny. <laughs> so here we go. I did take off my extensions, as I mentioned earlier, so I'm gonna do this on my shorties. This is Burning Embers from Mystic Moon. She has a bunch of fantasy flakies, a whole collection now, and I thought this color may be just perfect for the Manny that I'm recreating. I do a poll every month on the Facebook group, and this was the photo that had the most votes to do a recreate on, and I had a lot of ideas. Uh, my first initial idea was Chrome. Like a, like a duo chrome, shifty type chrome. Um, and I have a couple of chrome, you know, dip powders, none that are really multi-chrome. Uh, could have, you could use a multi-chrome like gel polish or regular nail polish if you wanted to. I'm gonna use dip powder because that's what I do, that's what I love. And I figured these would be perfect because these flakies are so chrome shifty. I thought it would be absolutely perfect. And then we're gonna do a little stamping over top here in a little bit. So I'm gonna get into my normal dip application. This is nothing you all haven't seen before. I am gonna cruise through this at lightning speed just because like I said, nothing you haven't seen before. And if you do want that step-by-step, -step, the one I mentioned earlier, it will be in the cards for you. So you can reference that and I can tell you what to do, why you're doing it and how to prevent certain nonsenses from happening if you're having problems. <laughs> Did you guys see my dip powder problems video? I think it was a little controversial for some reason. I'll leave it in the cards for you guys in case you want to check it out if you're having any dip powder problems like lifting or you know, um, stuff leaking into your cuticle area, flooding. That's the word I was looking for, flooding. Um, but yeah, check that out if you need some help. I'm gonna get all of my application. I will come back with you guys in just a bit.
So I got my first layer on, right? Now I'm gonna go into the second, and I gotta tell you, this was the wow moment for me. As you can see, the first layer looks like it's not very foily, but then I go in with the base, and look at this. All the foils just come to life. It's so magical. It's so magical. It was such, just a, ah, <laughs> that moment. Very relaxing and mind-blowing at the same time, which makes no sense whatsoever. It was satisfying. That's what I was going Today is the day I don't know words. Do you guys ever have days like that? <laughs> you would think. I'm doing this voiceover actually during the day, not at 2 o'clock in the morning. It's like mid-afternoon. And maybe that's why. Maybe that's why I'm stumbling and tripping over words because I'm just not used to doing all this talking during the day. <laughs> Usually during the day. Daytime is like my... Uh, social media business stuff. You know, I'm on Instagram, I answer DMs, I answer emails, I'm in my Facebook group a lot, um, either posting or commenting or moderating, whatever it is you want to call it. Um, and I usually do my voiceovers late at night when the house is quiet. But I'm like, let me let me do something new and different and see how it goes. And so far, can't talk. <laughs> Maybe I have to make it a habit. I don't know. Anyway, I wanted to also just keep you guys a little bit posted about my calendar. Uh, I do have a bunch of fun stuff planned for December, but before that, I will have a video coming up. I think it might be my next upload depending on shipping and stuff, but I will be doing the November subscription bag from Sparkle & Co. Um, I will be doing my first Manny in December, I believe is going to be World AIDS Day. Uh, you know, part of my whole awareness my monthly awareness whatever and hopefully other people see this video that are on the platform and jump on my little bandwagon i would love to see everyone else on the platform helping to raise awareness not necessarily for world aids day um we can i would love that but for any other cause that is near and dear to y'all's hearts if you're a creator or if you're very active on social media and you post nail stuff consider dipping or polishing or whatever hello hira this one's rubbing up against my phone hello are you so needy i love you too um consider supporting a cause and doing it publicly because the more awareness we can raise the better right uh so after that we're going to get into all the holiday type manis and I don't know why for some reason this year particularly, I'm super excited about it. I am super excited about how, how, well, I said Halloween. Halloween's over, Marla. Um, holiday manis. Christmas and New Year's, I'm going to do a whole lot of it. Uh, I have stuff pretty much scheduled and ready to go, but if it's anything you guys want to see like super last minute, please let me know. I will, of course, be doing my December recreate on the Facebook page, the Facebook group rather. Um, so I'm super looking forward to all of the crazy, I keep wanting to say Halloween, holiday, <laughs> many ideas that you guys post on that. Anyway, I'm going to finish up capping in clear, this gorgeous foil flaky dip. Hop over to her website because she has a whole collection of the fantasy flakies and they're all freaking stunning, stun city. I just can't. They're gorgeous. I'm going to let you guys watch me finish copy and clear. I'm going to get myself activated, get into a little filing and buffing, and then we're going to do some stamping. And we'll finish up and call it a day. I'll be back with you guys in a little bit.
voiceovers where I'm not doing a whole lot that y'all haven't seen before. You know, I'm just doing my normal filing routine and I felt the need to chat. I need to talk. <laughs> I, maybe it's me because I don't really watch a whole lot of TV anymore. Uh, who has time for TV these days? But I wound up just clicking onto my DVR and seeing what maybe had been recorded over the last couple of days. And I had no idea that Grey's Anatomy and Station 19 were back. I had no clue. Do you guys watch <laughs> that kind of stuff? I've been obsessed with Grey's since season one. And I started watching it back, what is it, nine years ago? Oh my God, has it been that long? I started watching it when it first came out and I've been hooked ever since. I've never missed an episode. I think I may have seen every episode at least 40 to 50,000 times each. <laughs> I love the show to bits. Um, I'm not going to spoil anything for anybody, but let me know down below if you watch it and if you knew that it was coming back or if you even know that it's back. <laughs> I had no idea. I would never have known if I didn't see it on my DVR. No clue. I'm also super excited that Jersey Shore is coming back. Um, by the time this goes up, it'll already be back. Uh, I'm, I'm doing this about, I don't know, 10, 10, 12 days ahead of time per usual. But I saw that on my DVR as well, but it wasn't the actual show. It was like a sneak peek or whatever. So I'm super excited about that. That is my crap TV. That is my guilty pleasure. Judge me if you will, but that is like my little escape from reality. <laughs> it's just so stupid. <laughs> But I do get super attached to all like the people on that show. It, maybe that's a me thing. I know there are some of you. There are some of you that get super attached to fake people. Not that Jersey Shore is fake people. I mean, I'm sure they're playing a part a little bit, but you get attached, right? They become your friends and your family. They do. I want to say stuff about Grace, but I know some of you probably haven't watched it, so I don't want to spoil anything. But if you know who McDreamy is... That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. Anyway, I'm gonna let you guys watch me finish filing and stuff. Uh, carry on, go about your business. I don't know why I hopped in to talk about crap TV shows, but it's what was on my mind. So I'm sharing it with you. I'll, I'll come back. Uh, we're gonna do a little stamping. Like I said, what am I talking about? <laughs> I'm gone. Today's the day, Marl's gone. I'm canceling myself. All right, come back uh, and we'll do some stamping. use i'm going to leave it listed in the box for you guys it's not exactly like the photo i don't think i have anything exactly identical to that photo but i figured this was pretty darn close so this is what i'm going to use uh, i made the executive decision <laughs> to grab my liquid latex this is black um, stamping polish by the way uber chic i got it on amazon and it should be in my amazon storefront in case you guys are interested but because I'm using a super pigmented black stamping polish and I'm going to be doing an overlay over the entire nail, uh, I figured it might be in my best interest or better interest at least to put on the liquid latex snot stuff, which I hate. I hate this stuff so badly. I can't. I, I don't want to, but I do. Um, this 
particular time using it was not that bad. I think I figured out the trick behind it. You have to really put this on super thick. Slap it on super thick. It's gonna take a little bit to dry, probably about five, 10 minutes, about the same time it would take to dry two coats of regular nail polish. So that was kind of annoying. <laughs> I have no patience, which is why I love dip powder and gel top coat. It's like, boom, 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 done. Um, but this stuff took freaking forever. Didn't know what to do with myself. Just sitting at my nail desk waiting for liquid latex to dry. Um, but it did, and we were gonna carry on. It went ahead and stamped four out of the five. I'm gonna show you how I did it. It's super simple, but this is what it's gonna look like. Really kind of love it. I will be cleaning up the excess polish. Then I'm gonna show you how I do the stamp and how I take off the liquid latex. And you're gonna see the most satisfying thing in the whole wide world when it comes to liquid latex, if that is such a thing. <laughs> Didn't think I would ever say that, but alas, it happened. So I put on the stamping polish, I put it on pretty generously, swipe it a few times, roll my stamper across it. This takes so much practice, you have to find your own rhythm to it. If you have trouble stamping, don't be discouraged, please, because it just takes some time to get the hang of like the direction you roll your stamper in and how quick you work. It's really just finessing your own, your, what? your own little routine. This little claw thing, oh my gosh, one of my subbies sent it to me and I'm so grateful. Lori, thank you, you're a doll. I love this thing so, so much. You hold a cotton ball in the thing, it's got a little claw at the end, and you can do your thing with, you know, the stamping plate, clean everything up and never have to actually touch acetone. And it's awesome. So I'm removing my liquid latex and I couldn't believe that I got the whole dang thing off in one piece, one piece. Unreal. That's the key. Put it on thick, let it dry completely for like 10 minutes or an hour, depending on how much time you have on your hands. As long as you can, let it dry as long as you can. Thickly, thickly, is it even a word? And then it comes off all in one piece. And it was super, super gross. Don't get me wrong. It's still nasty and skews me out. But it came off super easily. I'm going to clean up all of my nails with some acetone. Just go around the perimeter real quick with a small little like detail brush and some acetone just to get all that excess polish off. And then I'm going to top coat and I'll come back. how shiny and pretty they looked but the recreate photo was matte so i'm keeping with the recreate theme and i did use a matte top coat and here is the final look i think even with the matte they look absolutely stunning you can probably see the color underneath the foil flaky dip better with the matte i feel like when you put glossy over anything it kind of takes away from whatever design you're doing because that shine reflects you know which is gorgeous but sometimes it can just make the design not as easily as seen so i think matte worked really well for this i'm going to finish up like i always do with my candy skincare cuticle oil and if you think that this is going to be a problem over a matte top coat it can be however i find that after you apply your cuticle oil if you just take you know like a paper towel or a lint-free wipe with a little alcohol on it go over your nail plate 
and remove all that oil from it as you're going to see here in a bit it returns exactly to its perfectly matte state and the whole thing looks perfect <laughs> thank you guys so much for posting this photo i was so excited to recreate it and i hope i did it justice you'll have to let me know down below thank you again for being here and for hanging out and for being subscribed and for staying subscribed <laughs> i will catch you guys in the next one love you bye